Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, land loss and marginalization by the central government in Ethiopia, dating back more than a century, Ethiopia, long discontent gave birth to the Aroma Liberation Front. Initially a student organization that evolved into an armed resistance and political advocacy group dedicated to the promotion of Oromo self-determination. The Ethiopian people, as Revolutionary Democratic Front, EPREF, the current ruling party in Ethiopia, was formed in January and an Oromo journal claims it set out to gain Oromo people as democratic or to Leadership, in contrast, were pro off The extension of Ipred control over Oromo territory during operations by the Ethiopian army in spring induced a negative response from the ALF who feared a new colonization of Oromo land, following the harassment and intimidation of its supporters ahead of parliamentary elections, the ALF took up arms. The rebellion was Asians for militant organizations for ever since. During the ALF, popular support, including the Oromo people, As Liberation Front and the Alamic Front for the Liberation of the Oromo, sometimes generating intra-group violence, the government has frequently pointed to all factions or its mere existence as reason enough to suppress the broader Oromo population. Accusations of terrorism have provided cover for the government to stifle political dissent. For example, the Romo cultural event at the university, Rights Council reported that the detainees were forced to march over gravel for hours, barefoot or on their knees. In the run-up to May, parliamentary elections, Government repression was especially harsh in Aromia, one of the opposition strongholds, including torture, arbitrary detentions, beatings and harassment by security forces. Since then, the wider crackdown on political activists and Jethiopia has the Liberation Front, Almof, or the Enlof. Or the Enlof, or the Enlof, Oromo Federal Democratic Movement, and the Oromo People's Congress, OPSA, were arbitrarily arrested and at least were charged with various offenses. Recent protests against government repression have similarly been met with violence. An ongoing source of anger is the government. His proposed expansion of the capital city of Addis of Oromo communities by the Governmo control. Reminiscent of Oromo control. Reminiscent of territory to As well as forced resettlement of other communities into Oromo territory. The plan has provoked a series of protests by Oromo demonstrators, culminating in a student protest in December.
in which people were killed and several hundred injured. Oromo student protests over development plans for the capital city, Addis Ababa, have grown consistently since then. The protesters of Janju plan areas of the government to annex by cancel the controversial expansion plans. Despite this concession, the protests have continued and intensified. Ethiopian Aromo marathoner Fio Alessa gained worldwide media coverage when he expressed solidarity with the Aromo protesters at the Rio Olympics after winning a silver medal. The government crackdown has led to ongoing human rights violation of northern Kenya to northern Ethiopia to northern Nia to northern Ethiopia. There is considerable differentiation among the numerous Oromo communities. Barkakis, Barkaki. Ethnic groups worldwide states. The Oromo, Ala, are the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia and were at one time concentrated in the southern highlands but have now spread to other regions. The Oromo ethnic category is composed of a number of linguistically related groups in social organization, an economy across politically, and then there are cross the groups, are herders. Some are Muslims, others are Christians, and still others adhere to indigenous religions. Levinson Despite being the largest ethnic group in the Horn of Africa, the Oromo were less united religiously and socially than the Amhara and Tigrians and never formed one Oromo state, Minorities at Risk Project June. According to one analyst, due to their political fragmentation, they had same Topian, at the same time as if governments have Sifagala begin at the significant sections of the Oromo, Duwal. In the second half of the century, Oromo lands were conquered and expropriated by Abyssinians, who turned the majority of Oromo peasants into their tenants, or khaki. For more than a century, until the overthrow of Emperor Hale Selassie, Amhara and Tiger governments and landlords maintained political and economic control over the Oromo land and people. The Oromo Liberation Front, ALF, was formed in and engaged in arms to Marxist Miriam, the Durgu, that overthrew Hale Selassie and According to analyst Marina Ottaway, the Alfos faction, written poorly led, and chronically unable to decide whether its ultimate goal was an independent Aromia or a federal Ethiopia, and was an ineffective participant in the war against Mengistu, doing little fighting, Ottaway, the liberation movements that played the major part in defeating the Mengistu regime were the Eritrean People's Liberation Front, <laughs> Independence, and the Tigrayan Tigrayan People's Liberation Front, TULF, which sought to bolster its strength beyond Tigray province by forming ethnically based people's democratic organizations. In the regions of the other major ethnic groups, the Amhara, the Oromo, and the groups of southern Ethiopia, and uniting them with the Tal formed the Oromo People's Democratic Organization, Updu, 
from former prisoners of war who agreed to fight against the Derg as a variety of the d d d d Derg. Yeah. Wall, following the defeat of the Mengistu regime in, the Alf joined with the Eprif in a transitional government that would lay the groundwork for elections and a transition to democracy. Just prior to elections in mid, the Alf and other parties pulled out following disputes over the encampment of military personnel and claims of harassment of party members. The elections went ahead and the Eprif won overwhelmingly, though some 2% of voters did minorities at risk project Jujun. But in the Tulf and its allies in the Eprif, have consolidated power based on a system of ethnic federalism that devolves substantial power and authority to ethnically based regional governments while maintaining centralized control in the hands of the Tulf leadership. The Ethiopian government has been accused of serious human rights violations against political opponents and hundreds of supporters and suspected members of the ALF determination.